Collective. It's me, Lightwork Goddess and Tarot. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a beautiful, blessed, abundant day. Um, we're going to check in and do an energy check for Divine Masculine. And if I could just get my Palo Santo. <laughs> um, we're going to see what's going on with him. We're going to see what's going out. Could be any gender, but, you know, if I say him, just saying that's because. Father God, spiritual guides, ancient ancestors, please come into this reading for my collective. Let this be a message of love and light. Please keep out all low vibrational dark energy as it's not welcome in my spirit or that of the collective. And so it is as it be. Amen. I'll say. All right. All right. Let's get the energy. What's the overall energy of divine masculine? At this very moment, Spirit, what's the overall energy of this Divine Masculine for my collective? What's the overall energy? Ancient Wisdom, Record Keeper in Reverse. Seven. Guardian Family Karma. Ah, oh, somebody going through karma. This, this Divine Masculine energy, this Masculine energy is still in Ascension. Still getting the download, still being pushed into the spiritual process, um, going through some sort of family karma or maybe, you know, guarding their family at this point. Distant healing. 10. Back of the deck is inner child. 31, in a sense. So there's definitely an energy here of ooh, what's behind that? Clearing karma. There's definitely an energy here of the divine masculine clearing karma being spiritually awakened, um, being pushed into ascension, dealing with the inner child. Um, I just heard something with, had, something that could have had to do with their innocence, maybe even being taken away as a child could be something that they're dealing with. Give me more energy for this divine masculine that we're picking up on here to Zay. conclusions are within reach so i feel like this this masculine oh what do you need to release in reverse coming out on top of that ancient wisdom in reverse so this divine masculine is having an issue releasing some things from their past they're having an issue stepping out of their comfort zone adjustments are required they're having issues with getting the downloads being pushed into the spiritual awakening maybe even being drawn to the divine feminine um dealing with the inner child healing Okay, we have your hard work is paying off in reverse and we have full moon in Virgo can't um, you are good enough Capricorn back of the deck is you and your loved ones are safe new moon in cancer. So there's an energy of I think this masculine being guarded guarded and guided by the ancestors. Okay, being protected on this journey. Um, and I think what they're trying to this masculine is still going through the lesson your hard work is paying off in reverse. Maybe they don't see what's coming towards them. Maybe they don't understand what, what's, what's going on with this spiritual awakening. Why do I keep thinking about divine feminine? Why do I feel this way? Why am I seeing these numbers? Okay. And I feel like they're starting to realize that they are good enough. What's the overall energy of this divine masculine? King of swords in the struggle position. Mm, struggling to get out of that karmic energy. <laughs> Juggling. <laughs> I'm hearing uh, wanting to go down a new path, Tr you know, struggling to turn their back on the old them is really what I'm getting, you know, struggling to show their emotions and go from the King of Swords to this King of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, you know, show their love, be loving, be open. So it's a struggle emotionally. It's a struggle to drop options. It's a struggle for healing. Spirit says that's the truth. So they want to offer a uh, a cup of love. This masculine does. Give me more about this two of cups. Okay. Ace of cups. They think it's over though. Back of the deck of the devil. They're obsessed with having this wish fulfillment with you. They see you as the star divine feminine. They see you as their match queen of swords. So they feel like them being cold, being distant uh maybe pushing you away because they weren't spiritually activated has turned you into the queen of swords and you have turned your back to them okay but they see you as a wish fulfillment but they feel like it's over with death and the ace of cups in reverse okay they also now it's like they're in this king of cups energy so they go from being cold maybe distant in a king of swords and struggling with that fighting their feelings to now they're struggling with emotion in this king of cups energy give me more 
Okay, yeah. This person, they want to apologize, Page of Cups. They feel like them rejecting you caused you to close out a cycle with them, caused you to walk away from them. Yeah. They weren't following their intuition. They From holding back from you, they weren't following their intuition. They knew they shouldn't have done that. But they were involved in something toxic and they were moving towards connections very quickly that was sexually based with the eight of rods, the five of rods, very dr dramatic too, very toxic, low vibrational, and very sexually based. But they moved slowly towards you to give you a higher level commitment. And that's what's resulted in the tower. So now they're trying to find the strength to come towards you. Because why? They want the Ten of Cups. They've been watching you. <laughs> you're looking sexy. You're looking good. You could be a fire sign. Aries, Libra. Uh, de someone definitely could be a, a Libra, but Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Queen of Wands. This person feels left out on the cold. Five of Pentacles. So let's see, Collective. What is the blockage for this person? I feel like the blockage is them dealing with their feelings. What is the blockage for this Divine Masculine? I was just going to say karma. Them, the, the blockages, they close out cycles. Four of cups in reverse and four of pentacles. Four of pentacles in reverse and four of cups with the world. The blockage for them is this person doesn't show their true feelings. It's like they don't want to hold back, but they reject you. So they close out cycles too quickly. They're still going through a karmic lesson as well. And they do all of this in spite of them wanting to give a love offer and be all ap apologetic. It could also be because they're in a karmic energy um, that they're struggling to get out of. Struggling with being low vibrational, arrogant, money-based. What's the blockage for this masculine here? Uh, Self-sabotage. Ending things. Stepping back into that King of Swords energy. Being, um, being immature with communication. Ghosting. Uh, just not expressing their feelings having you waiting and so they have you waiting i'm hearing left on red and uh isolate themselves from you but this keeps them up at night it's like this person's their own worst enemy yo and you know why because temperance in the struggle position with eight of cups in the struggle position they want to return but they're struggling to find balance i'm hearing i don't even think you like me anymore how does this masculine feel about the divine feminine or the feminine energy here <clears throat> They want to come towards you. They, they regret their decisions. They know they were breadcrumbing you. They feel left out in the cold. Five of Cups is depression. Okay, this person wants to love you, but they're not telling you this. Ace of Swords in the struggle position. It was Ace of Cups in the struggle position. They don't know if you still love them. Ace of Cups. Ace of Swords. They don't know if they could be honest with you. They feel like you turned your back on them. Yeah, Six of Cups in reverse. You dropped them, this past person. They feel like this is just a distant memory in the past. Let's see. What's this masculine's next step towards my divine feminine? Okay. They, they have to turn their back on something. Once again, these inner struggles that they're going through. This is somebody, I don't know, divine feminine, if you want to wait on this specific ma masculine, if it's um, resonating. Some of you guys have already moved on to someone new because it seems like this is there's some healing, releasing, dealing with the inner child that they this masculine seems to very much be struggling with. What's their next step? Clarify the page of cups in reverse. What, 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 is, what is going on with this masculine? What is going on? What's their next step? Page of swords in reverse. See? <clears throat> this masculine is still going to be juggling. They're still going to be self-sabotaging. Okay? It's like they can't get a grip of their fucking emotions. They want to apologize, but they're not. They're sitting over here badly in love, wanting to be honest and truthful with their feelings, but they're in an energy of they feel like they already wasted your time. They don't know if you want them back. This is a masculine that's very much in their head. They're thinking about you so goddamn much that they're manifesting you, but they're pushing you away, fighting themselves. They're watching you probably from fake pages and hiding it. And it's like, they don't know if they're coming and going. They want to come in. Do I come in sexually and passionate? Knight of Wands? Or do I come in loving and apologize? Like they're all up in their goddamn head. They're thinking about it too much. 
So you see, they're not going anywhere. They're fighting in two different directions. They don't know if they should lead with sex or lead with love. They don't know if they should just keep it sexual or if they should actually tell you how you feel, how they feel, because they don't know how you feel. But they're intuitively being drawn to you. Clarify this high priestess with their next action. This masculine, they need to grow the fuck up. You ask me, it's like they just doing too much. Yeah, they're they're, they're, they're they want the ten of cups with you, but they see you as the queen of swords. They know that you probably got some harsh words for them. That you're gonna be like, what the fuck? Like, where you been at? Type of energy. They're trying to find the strength, but they're burdened. They feel like this re the, this tower that happened between you guys. It, it's just something that they just feel like. They intuitively know that you got some shit to say to them, too. So it's kind of like they don't want to hear your wrath. Okay? But they want to work on things. But why is this Three of Cups here? This is a type of masculine that would stay with somebody. Mm. Yep, they still could be low-key communicating Ada Roth in the struggle position with somebody. They could have some sexual third parties, too, that they're having struggle with dropping. Yep, this masculine's not fully single. Nine of Pentacles in the struggle position. But they coming back to you, or that could mean they went to somebody from their past. Spirit said no. They didn't go back to someone from their past with the chariot in reverse with the six of cups. But I feel like they want to come back to you, but they're not taking any action because they're still going through a karmic lesson, justice in reverse. There's also some truth that they might be afraid to tell you. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. They're all up in their head and they're waiting once again. This is the type of person that would like much rather just think about you, stalk you, than say something to you. Like that's, I always feel like that energy is so weird. Like just like this is reminding me of the scorpio reading i did and I, if you're a scorpio and you watch a lot of tarot videos i know you've been picking up on these energy and videos too like who is this stalker person that's just stalking the divine feminine like and just thinking about them because they can't uh apologize so mature inner child healing how does this masculine feel about divine feminine <clears throat> They respect you and you're, 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 you're living your life with high respect. It's like they have a newfound respect for you. They have a lot of emotions for you. And it's kind of like they want, they, they feel like you're in this queen of swords energy. Like you're so powerful. Like they can't step to you because you're going to cuss they ass out and check they nuts. They feel like you're an angel and they also understand that you have vision. You're innovative. Okay, they see you as being funny, like you got the whole package. This, I'm hearing a lot of people would want them. And this affects their self-esteem, self-esteem in reverse. This is like somebody who, that you're healing. They're going through their healing. This is somebody who, they intuitively know that knew they should have never finessed you. Okay, but so now, this because of that, they're struggling with the truth and this tr transitioning and healing they're struggling with the fact that now they can't feel your energy and you you know I'm, I'm getting you're just not the same to them anymore so it's like they don't know how to even approach you because you have graduated divine feminine to such a level of self-respect love and really step into your just overall bomb personality and energy they don't even know how to approach you because this is somebody who approaches everybody um usually approaches people with like some playboy energy so they don't that's why they're struggling to get out of king of swords and get out of king of wands and get out of this karmic energy because this person only knows how to lead with that you know it's a very immature low vibrational energy coming through but who they see you as beyonce you the queen they love you can't get no more higher than that and they're afraid of your attitude attitude in reverse it's like they feel like, I feel like Divine Feminine, this could have been somebody who was a little rude to you, who said some mean things to you, who, you know, that King of Swords in reverse is a dickhead, asshole. Uh, King of Pentacles too. Yeah, this is definitely somebody you're separated from. So they could have had some harsh words for you. And now they feel like, oh, the tables have turned. Divine Feminine done glue up. She might cuss me out. She might cut me with that sword. Okay, this is a soulmate connection. Okay, this person's very passionate about you. Okay, and why? Because you, your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. This person knows that they uh done gave you mad red flags. And so they're just like, why would, is it safe to love you? Like, they're afraid. Okay, they're trying to free themselves to come towards you, but they think that you freed yourself. They feel very flirtatious towards you. They feel like you guys have a lot of chemistry. Okay, but 
it's like this person secretly has a codependent nature and look at them uh manifesting you thinking about you so goddamn much drawing you back yeah this person needs to heal something with the inner child that's blocking their relationships they feel like you're their true love all oh, this masculine's all over the goddamn place you know what i'm saying i don't understand that i don't understand that i don't i don't get that y'all how pe someone could just energetically stalk you and not say nothing look at that baby i'm coming back asap i bet you will let's get some messages look at that this is a soulmate okay but they had in that love offer I listen to the wrong people. So this person was listening to people about you, okay? They were listening to people trying to tell them not to be with you. They like to have multiple partners, okay? They wanted to be a playboy, playgirl, and they wasn't willing to kick some third parties to the curb. Someone could have got pregnant, and now they wish it was you. Oh, God. Yep, this is somebody who wants their cake and to eat it, too. They're miserable in their current relationship. So if they are in a relationship, they're miserable thinking about the goddamn divine feminine, okay? Thinking about you, thinking about what could have been, uh, how they... It's like they're all up in their head. Some of them did look at that. I grew up alone, abandoned, without love, but that's the reverse. So this could be um, hidden from you. I feel like this masculine has true issues with emotional vulnerability, issues with being transparent. So it's easier for them to be covered it up with money, clothes, hoes, what have you, because they're, they're still struggling with some things from their past. Now, this, some, this person loves you and they just feel like you're an a angel, but they're not optimistic that you're going to want them back. And I don't know, with all this goddamn energy, I don't know, it seems like it's just like, okay, how do you feel about me? Yeah, this person's going through a karmic lesson and... They have a karmic bloodline. This person has some sort of karma in their bloodline. And didn't we have cleansing karma and family karma? Yeah, this person has a karmic bloodline. They go through a karmic lesson. No disrespect to nobody, but there's some sort of karma. You know, that could also mean that this person comes from the energy of um, all the mas most of the masculines in their family being players, being cheaters. And that's kind of what they grew up with. So, you know, it's like, yes, yeah, spare, remove this person from your life because this, this person needs to do ascension or you're going to meet another soulmate. Some of y'all have already, um, ha gotten to another connection. Okay. This masculine <clears throat> also could be a sex addict. Well, we got a lot of that energy of them typically leading with sex, but they feel like you're the one that got away. They're blessing. They're their blessings are being blocked and it could have to do with a decision to go with a third party or having third parties. Now, they're hurting more than you know and they will always feel like you're the one that got away from them, okay? Some of you guys are mirroring each other, okay? And you guys are thinking about one another probably on the same level. The sadness, they feel deep sadness away from you. So they're very sad being away from you and they don't understand it. Okay, this person could have some good, you know, well, I think they know what they're doing in that department. Okay. Um, or they could be Caribbean or you could be Caribbean. Okay. They feel like you were the right love at the wrong time. Okay. This person could be rich or wealthy, but they also wear a mask. Okay, they are from your soul tribe. Someone might be doing drugs. Someone could be selling drugs. I don't know why I got that. And once again, this inner child, this person could have been abused as a child and that could affect the way that they love. Okay, you or this person could be a writer and see y'all a star cross. Look at that, y'all. Inner child healing needed. This is a message. If this is the cross watchers read for a divine masculine, there is some healing around the childhood that needs to come into light because it's like this healing is causing this masculine to push away true love and go towards sexual or toxic connections. You know, very sad. And so <clears throat> you guys are somewhat star-crossed, divine feminine, and this masculine we're picking up on. And star-crossed means like when two people, look at that, spiritual blockages. Star-crossed means when two people want to be together or feel drawn together, but they just can't be together. And it has a lot to do with this um, masculine's uh, healing work they need to do with their karmic bloodline, with some of the decisions that they've made that have kind of shifted the destiny. Okay, message to you, divine feminine. You dodged a bullet with this one. Mm. This person is very possessive over you. They feel like you're theirs. They feel like you just have such an aura, a bright aura. But see, can we start over in reverse? They don't think you guys can really start over. Some of you guys are famous or popular, okay? This person is nasty, <laughs> freaky deaky, okay? We have demonic energy, black magic spell work. So that just means if anything was tried to be sent, oh, someone's baby mama could have tried to do something to you. If this masculine got a BM, they could have tried to do something to you. But Spirit says that shit didn't work. <laughs> You know, so I feel like this masculine feels stuck, 
okay? Because whatever decision they made kind of, see, it will not work out with who they left you for future. It's kind of fucking shit up. And it's kind of like you guys were meant to be together, but they went down another path. So now I feel like Spirit is bringing you a new partner if you don't already have one. And yeah, this masculine is just not, isn't going to learn their lesson or they're, you know, unless they can get up and really do the work and do the healing. But I feel like they're just stuck. You know, some of them are, are more religious and spiritual, so they don't really understand what's going on. No offense to anyone who's religious. Someone here could be a lawyer. And yeah, this person misses you. Mm. Oh, ca candle magic. See, here we go. Let me look into that right there, right there, right there. Someone could have been trying to do some candle magic to, to cause negative influences on this connection. Spirit, let me get my cards. Let me get let me get my let me get my cards. Let me get my cards. Where's my where's my deck at? Oh. Spirit, who was doing this black magic candle magic? Huh. Somebody who who's bringing try they kind someone tried to block the connection spiritually. Spirit saying, who was doing candle magic? In this situation with the divine feminine, divine masculine. Give me some energy on that. What the fuck? This also going to be sex magic. Hmm. Listen. And, uh... Who's doing? Okay, so this is a feminine energy. Could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius from this masculine's past. Or this a feminine en energy was doing um candle magic to to keep this masculine from coming towards you this has ultimately kept this masculine all up in their head about you and have them waiting a third party okay they also could have done some sort of sex magic um with this masculine okay yeah they did something to block communication and to make them struggle with giving to you like they wanted them to hold back from you oh shit yep mm, but spirit says they gonna regret that shit that shit's wearing off that's why this masculine is starting to be like what the fuck yeah you know yeah because now between those people there's nothing but arguments fights and friction and the masculine is turning into the emperor okay Okay, yeah, this masculine is rejecting them and taking the swords out of their out of their back and the cycle's closing. That relationship has been nothing but a burden to this masculine here. Okay, so I do feel like it was a feminine energy that did some sort of magic over yep, yeah, the relationship is in shambles. <laughs> huh. Who did some sort of um spell work, yep, the other woman to keep the masculine away from you, the empress. A karmic energy could have been a gold digger, somebody who only wanted this masculine for their money, knowing that you're their true wish fulfillment. Mm. Why? Yep. See, look at that. The Empress versus the Queen of Wands. The other woman could be a fire sign, Leo, uh, Sagittarius and Aries. So there was a feminine energy here. We have air. We have fire that was doing something to keep the masculine and we also have earth that was doing something to keep the empress away from the masculine why because you're their happiness and that has caused spiritual blockages for your person and so <clears throat> i don't think it worked on you i don't think that shit even touched you spirit said listen you coming up as beyonce can't nobody touch the queen you know what i'm saying but um that's that. That's that. Period, 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 period. All right, collective, that's what I got for you. I'll see y'all later.